All right, thank you guys all for being here today. My name is Corey Williams and I'm with the Fayetteville Public Library. Um, I just wanted to introduce Martha Longdegan. She is an executive consultant at the Startup Junkie in Fayetteville. Um, she's gonna be talking to you all today about uh, resources for, that are available to you here in Northwest Arkansas for small businesses and for entrepreneurs. And we're just so delighted that she's here. If you could hold your questions till the very end or if you wanna type them in the chat, um, I can get those to Martha at the very end. But Martha, I'll let you take it away. All right, and so everybody can see my screen. Is that correct, Corey, Startup Junkie? Yes. So this is the website you'll see up here for Startup Junkie. Um, good afternoon to everyone. And I am Martha Wandigan, and I'm a business consultant here at Startup Junkie. And I am coming to you from our offices on the Historic Square in Fayetteville. That is our main suite of offices. We're located in the Pryor Center, which is the big red brick building on the east side of the square. And that's a building actually owned by the University of Arkansas. It houses several university related departments. And then there's a Mexican restaurant and a bridal store and lawyers and accountants here. So that's where we come from. You'll notice that it has that we're a .org and that's because I actually work for the Startup Junkie Foundation. And we are a mission driven organization that is here to empower um, entrepreneurs and innovators in Northwest Arkansas because we believe that entrepreneurship improves lives. We are funded uh, primarily by the Walton Family Foundation and the Arkansas Economic Development Commission and some other smaller grants from the US Small Business Administration. So we're here to provide uh, free, no cost business consulting services to people who are thinking about starting a business, people who already have a business, uh, people who are growing a business, or just people who are interested in entrepreneurship in general in Northwest Arkansas. We also provide about 100 events that we host a year and we participate in about 200 events that we co-host with other entrepreneur groups, some of whom I'm gonna to talk to you about today. And so you can always go to our site here at Startup Junkie where it has team and you can see our team and all of the uh, people who work for us here at, at the foundation and on the Startup Junkie LLC side. And so uh, here is mine and it has my email. It has a button you can click here to set up a Zoom meeting or a telephone meeting or we are actually back in our offices uh, here in the last week and are meeting with people. We have very large rooms and very large tables and so we can socially distance if people want an in-person meeting. So my history in Northwest Arkansas is that um, this summer marks the 50th year that my mother uh, packed us up and moved us to Fayetteville when I was five years old. She came to the U of A to be an art student. So I have a huge 50 year history with uh, Fayetteville. I uh, grew up, um, I actually did a TEDx talk about uh, growing up on Dixon Street and now my office is on the square, which is where I bought my first Girl Scout uniform at Campbell Bells. So um, I have a great history with Northwest Arkansas. My family, I'm a fifth generation small business owner in Northwest Arkansas. I have a background as a public school educator. Actually, the closest place here I taught was Prairie Grove and Siloam Springs where I graduated from high school. And I went to the U of A twice. I have a law degree. I have some experience being a business banker and an attorney for a large banking firm. And then I worked at the Small Business Center at uh, the University of Arkansas back when it was part of the Walton College. And I'm actually gonna talk about that center. So I just have kind of a, a very eclectic background, always concerned my whole life with small business. And so these resources I'm going to tell you about here are all either completely free or at no cost. They, I'm not sending you somewhere that I haven't been. I'm not sending you somewhere that I haven't had one of my small business clients gain positive, helpful information or resources with. Um, also on this call, if you look at your grid, Morgan Scholes is on with us. I see Morgan. 
and she is our newest business consultant that has come on board and she also has some background with Siloam Springs. She's a JBU graduate and um, was with Main Street Siloam and recently comes to us from Be Unlimited, a very, very renowned and reputable startup here in Northwest Arkansas and she has some incredible background in HR and in small business development also. So you can always reach out to us for assistance. So I started out with Startup Junkie, and you can see here, this is us at the Pryor Center, and I'm now going to go around the square. To my left is the Fayetteville Chamber of Commerce. Um, I will tell you, as a small business owner, as someone thinking about starting a small business, we have some incredible uh, chambers in Northwest Arkansas. We, of course, have the big five, Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Lowell, Bentonville, and Siloam Springs, but all of our small towns. I've recently uh, been working with other smaller chambers. I go out to Eureka Springs. I work with their chamber. I work with their uh, Main Street Association. The chambers, when you join a chamber for, if you're a nonprofit, it's around 150 or 200. The businesses, it's based upon how many employees you have. You instantly at each chamber have a staff of 15, 16, 20 people there to help you. Um, so I really um, encourage people to join their local chambers and get involved. It's a great way to network, especially if you're a service provider, if you do financial services or marketing, going to those events, meeting other small business owners. And each of these chambers have economic development persons on staff that can connect you to other resources, get you market research on their town. So there, so we started out Startup Junkie on the east side of the square. We've got the Fayetteville Chamber on the south side of the square. And then also as we move down the street, we come to the city of Fayetteville. And here at Startup Junkie, we actually have a contract with the city of Fayetteville. We provide open co-working space. So anyone who's in Fayetteville, Monday through Friday from nine to five and needs a place to sit and meet with people and have free Wi-Fi, that's available in our building. And so your city, even if you're not a person in Fayetteville, your city has an economic development office or an economic vitality office, as we call it in Fayetteville. And when you go to these sites and, and go to these, um, uh, sections about doing business, they're going to have lots of resources that are available for you through their economic vitality office. Um, through they have in Fayetteville, we have a staff of two people, Chung Tan and Devin Howland. They're here to help anyone with entrepreneur support, provide resources to help you. They have a whole section on new businesses. They have guides. Um, the city on its main site, you can see the city has been ground zero for helping us COVID-19 information and updates. You can see all of the uh, documents that you need, all of the different uh, departments. Uh, Devin Howland has been constantly updating the city site with information about the PPP loan program for small businesses, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Uh, Chung Tan will meet one-on-one -on -one with people opening a business in Fayetteville to help them with site location and connect them to resources. So all of our cities have staff that if you live in that town are there to work for you for free to help you with your business. If you have issues getting a permit or you don't understand the permitting or the licensing um, for your city, go to your city officials and seek that information. Now, as we continue down Mountain Street, we have the University of Arkansas Brewer Family Hub, and they're actually located in the former Chamber of Commerce building. And so all of these resources that I'm telling you about, we all work together frequently. The Brewer Family Entrepreneurship Hub is actually operated in conjunction with the Walton College. Uh, the requirements to be involved there are that you're currently a University of Arkansas student or a uh, graduate of the University of Arkansas and they have events there. A lot of times their events are open to the public. You don't even have to be a member of the entrepreneurship hub to go. Um, they have different levels of membership that you can go um, to, you can go to their membership tab and you can join and it tells you all different levels of services that they provide you. Um, there, if you're a member and they provide University of Arkansas, obviously very well educated, very well connected staff to help you with your entrepreneurship um, dreams and goals. 
And then we continue down the street and there we are is the Fayetteville Public Library. And I am so, we are so fortunate here to have a public library that offers business resources and cares about small businesses. Our Fayetteville Public Library is not just about books for children, which they do have one of the most incredible children's library programs in the country, I think, but they're here for all aspects of our society in Fayetteville. Young, old, business, highly educated, um, people learning to read, every type of event. The, the Fayetteville Public Library is the city of Fayetteville. It is our community. And so anything you need for your life it, that involves bettering yourself or learning or growing, there's going to be something at the library. But here specifically is this tab that I've been um, connecting with uh, my clients to is this research. When you click on this research and learn, look at all of these areas that they offer assistance and information and content for you. And here, when you go into business is a business market research collection. So the Fayetteville Public Library is one of two resources I'm gonna tell you about today. Another one is the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center, which is also our neighbor down the street, but they have staff at both of these places to help you get market research about your consumers. This becomes very important. If you want to open a certain type of business in a town, you need to be sure that you're doing customer development. Now, some of that means you going out and visiting competitor stores, figuring out how you're different. We call it the UVP, unique value proposition. What's different about your business that you want to start? Or if you're growing your business and you want to try a new line or you want to send your services or your products to a new uh, consumer, you need market research. And typically, yes, that is looking at the local business community. I'm going to show you another resource in a second, the Northwest Arkansas Council. They have information on our demographics, which is information about our population. But the Fayetteville um, Library has librarians on staff and research uh, reference folks that will help you gather information about how many children under the age of two live in Fayetteville, Arkansas, or in all of Washington County. How many people have bicycles in Northwest Arkansas? Uh, they have this incredible staff that can help you with this uh, research, and all you have to be is a library patron and reach out to them for that. And then I mentioned a second ago, the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center. So now I'm making the big circle around the square. When I worked for them, they were part of the Walton College. They are now part of the new entity that was created about 18 months ago, a new division of the University of Arkansas called the Office of Economic Development. And so they provide one-on-one -on -one business consulting like what Startup Junkie does. They also have staff that will help you prepare cash flow spreadsheets, get market research for you out of their lead center in Little Rock. They are half funded by the US Small Business Administration and then half funded by the University of Arkansas. And there are seven of these centers in Arkansas and they're all connected to university campuses. So the main lead centers at UALR in Little Rock and they administer all the SBA funds. There's one at Jonesboro, there's one at Magnolia, there's one at Arkansas Tech in Russellville. And they can get you market research about um, when I, I'll give you a very simple example. When I was there, I had a woman who was making vegan, paleo, uh, dairy-free, sugar-free baked goods. And she was trying to decide if she should try to sell those in the Fayetteville Farmers Market or Bentonville. I was able to order her market research when I was at the Small Business Center on the numbers of types of baked goods sold in Bentonville versus Fayetteville. And we could look at the numbers and it broke it down and cupcakes and cakes and cookies and full pies, etc. So you can get research that simple to more uh, sophisticated research. If you're trying to decide you want to do 
a uh, geriatric dental practice. Say you have some young woman who's graduating from dental school and she really wants to do geriatric dentistry. You can get even more sophisticated um, data and information on medical professions and demographics on ages and how much the average person spends on dentures and how much the average tooth extraction costs. So they can help get you that market research and provide those services to you. Here at Startup Junkie, we're a very wide funnel is what I like to tell people. We will talk to people at any stage, whether they need financing or don't need financing. Um, if you just want to talk about starting a business in a couple years, and we will help you go down that funnel of entrepreneurship um, to find the specifics that you need and, and help you find which resources are, are appropriate to your needs at this time. And I say that because the next one I'm going to oops, is the Arkansas Food Innovation Center. So if you were starting an accounting practice, I would send you to the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center because they will help you fill out three-year cash flow projections that you can take to a bank to try to get a loan. If you were a food producer, say you've been making salsa in your home and selling it at the farmer's market under the Arkansas cottage laws, which that's perfectly allowed at farmer's markets, or you were selling it to your friends and family, but now you had a chance that someone from Harps was interested in carrying in the Fayetteville Harps, say the one on Garland, you got to know the people there and they said, you know what, if you could get your manufacturer's permit and your food label, we'd love to let you sell your salsa that you've been making at home previously in our Harps store, which Harps is a wonderful um, supporter of regional small businesses and there are lots of local products in our Harps stores. We would send you to the Arkansas Food Innovation Center. And this is located just about probably three to four miles from us. It's across the street from the Washington County Fairgrounds. A lot of people have never driven off in there. Um, it's the large area off Garland that has the big tall metal fence around it, the chain link fence. And there are about 14 buildings back there related to the University of Arkansas Agriculture Department. And it's also where the U of A cross country track is. All around that fence is the cross country um, track. And out there, you can watch this video that's here and it'll give you a direct picture of exactly what they do there. But you go out there and this team of food scientists and university staff will help walk you through the process to get your food manufacturer's permit from the state of Arkansas. Now that process will have some fees. Um, the last time I talked to John Swinson, who is the director out there, he said, you know, it's about a three month process and the individual ends up spending usually about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars to get that manufacturing permit but they will not only help walk you through the process, teach you proper sanitation and process and procedures, they'll make your food labels for you there that you can put on the jars of salsa, which it's gonna be required by somebody like Harps that you have a manufacturer's permit, that you're making it in a commercial kitchen, that you have proper uh, food product insurance, and they'll walk you through that whole process. Also, I have a client who makes cookies out of her home and she started getting orders for hundreds of dozens of cookies and her kitchen's not big enough. I've referred her out there. They will let certain uh, home people who are producing cookies and cakes and things like that, uh, vegetable dishes, anything but meat. You can't do meat products out there because that's a totally different type of certification and process. And you can book space out there to use their very large ovens, their very large prep area, their very large pans. If you're a caterer or um, an individual who's starting to sell privately, not through stores, but need that commercial space. And so this is a wonderful resource we have here in Northwest Arkansas through the University of Arkansas. You don't have to be associated with the U of A. Remember always, uh, the University of Arkansas is a land grant university and it is supported by taxpayer dollars. So there are lots of programs at the University of Arkansas for the public um, that you don't have to be a U of A student or staff. Uh, next one I want to tell you about is the Northwest Arkansas Council and I'm mostly telling you about this one to show you the website. 
So uh, you can read about the Northwest Arkansas Council if you wish. It was started by several great um, uh, small business owners from Northwest Arkansas, such as Sam Walton, J.B. Hunt, uh, Don Tyson. So they became a little frustrated. If you've lived here all your life like I have, we can remember the day when we didn't get quite as much attention up here as we kind of needed from the legislature. And so these um, titans of small business and now corporate uh, Northwest Arkansas banded together and created the Northwest Arkansas Council. And it is the cheerleader platform. It is, it is the mechanism through which we got our highway system upgraded. We got the Bobby Hopper Tunnel. We got the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. And the Northwest Arkansas Council, their offices are located in Johnson, and their number one job is to support Northwest Arkansas, to grow Northwest Arkansas, to attract new talent, and make our lives better in Northwest Arkansas. That's what they do. And the reason I show you this site is because of the incredible information they have here. If you ever need information for one of your clients or your customers or just want to know about Northwest Arkansas in general, you can go to places like this site, uh, Northwest Arkansas by the numbers, and it gives you uh, statistics and data about Northwest Arkansas. You know, a famous one we hear a lot is we grow 26.5 people a day. And Please help spread the word that that does not mean 26 people move here a day. That's something that drives me crazy. It means we grew by 26. Possibly tomorrow, that's 14 babies born here. So um, it, it's actually truly impossible to count the numbers. There's never any way to know that someone moved to Fayetteville two hours ago. You can look at increases in utilities. You can look at the job numbers. Um, the, the, the best guesstimate I've seen in talking to the experts in the area is they think it's about seven to nine people a day possibly move here but the growth numbers are there. And so you can see how they track these numbers for us. They um, encourage diversity. They want all people to be welcome in Northwest Arkansas. And they, they have encouraged our arts and all of these wonderful programs that we have here. And you can go in here. This is a really fun one. They have all these different projects that they are behind. They care about entrepreneurship. They care about healthcare. They care about infrastructure, our roads and our streets. And this digital ambassadors one is really, really neat. And I would bet some of you have actually on social media been seeing their digital ambassador sites and didn't realize that was the Northwest Arkansas Council. And so when you go here to the digital ambassadors, um, it begins to bring up information for you about all of the different um, sites that they have out there. Uh, diversity and inclusion, uh, it, when we go to these about recruiting, um, I'm trying to find, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find my, uh, sorry, I thought I had this figured out. They have the different groups and they have different websites, such as this one, Startup NWA. Um, hang on, I'm sorry, I thought I had this. I'm trying to find the one that has the link to where all of their, uh, So each, oh, here it is. So each of these, like Finding NWA, sorry, I've got to click on the live links. When you go to this, you'll see this Finding NWA, and it has all these articles about entertainment, community, city, getting plugged in. These are blogs, and all of these are, when you lit, click on these articles, they're all stories and blogs. Uh, small businesses form creative partnerships in the wake of COVID-19. So these, this one, Finding NWA, is about um, all the different things. So there's Maxine's, an article about what small businesses are doing to survive COVID-19. When you go up here to the top, they have one called Diversity NWA. This highlights and promotes uh, activities by people of color, different races, different backgrounds, um, all of the different um, aspects and colors and populations that are in Northwest Arkansas. When you go to Startup NWA, this is going to have great information about small businesses. Sometimes they do articles about Startup Junkie and they publish it on their Startup NWA. So all of these, this is what I was trying to get to, Engage NWA, Startup NWA, all of these sites 
when you go there, you can type that into Facebook and there's a Facebook page and they link these blogs that they have here over to that. And that's where they're called digital ambassadors. So they have a plethora of blog articles and spotlights. So if you have a small business and you're a black owned business or a Hispanic or Latina owned business, you, these are great sites to follow, to reach out to, to have them do a spotlight about you and your business and what's going on. Because what we're all trying to do here in Northwest Arkansas, specifically us at Startup Junkie, is making sure that entrepreneurship is available for all persons of every economic background, every uh, racial background, every status, because we truly believe that entrepreneurship improves lives. And so the Northwest Arkansas Council, um, along with the Walton Family Foundation, are great supporters of this. Um, here I want to show you the Rogers Lowell Area Chamber of Commerce. And so their main building is in downtown Rogers, but they also have a branch in Lowell. And I show you theirs because they are the largest chamber in Northwest Arkansas with the largest staff. They're actually the second largest in the state. And they have a great um, toolkit here on their site. When you go under their uh, do business, they have lots of information for you here. Um, about doing business in Northwest Arkansas, notice they have a link to the Northwest Arkansas Council site because it has so much great information. Uh, and that Northwest Arkansas Council site, if you're a small business owner, is a great place to send someone if you're trying to recruit someone from out of state to come here, send them to that Northwest Arkansas Council site. It will tell them everything they ever need to know about Northwest Arkansas. But here under this small business resources, they have a small business toolkit. And when you go in here, they have had chamber members donate guides, information pamphlets, all of these different things. Um, here under office and HR, they have one under there that's a template of a uh, employee handbook. Now, I will tell you, you should never draft your own employee handbook and give it to employees. But you could look at one and get ideas for what you want your employee handbook to look like, get that drafted up and then take it to an HR attorney to review and make sure it's compliant with Arkansas law. They have um, guides about how operations for your business, uh, guides about tax returns. They have this wonderful overall entrepreneur guide they have put together and it's mostly concentrated on starting a business in Rogers and Lowell, but Here's what I'm telling you. Each chamber in Northwest Arkansas has these types of guides, this type of information. Um, the Rogers Lowell Chamber has been voted one of the top 100 social media digital um, chambers in the United States. That's a big concentration they have. But for example, the Springdale Chamber of Commerce offers the largest, most success, successful, accessible networking event every month called the Big Brew. You know, if you join the Roger, the Springdale Chamber, once a month, you can go to um, a meeting at Sam's Furniture in Springdale and meet with 200 other small business owners. And that's free with your chamber membership. So get to know each of these chambers because they each have kind of special things that they do and programs that they do um, for small business owners. Moving on, besides chambers, we have like here, we have the Downtown Rogers. We have Main Street Eureka. All the towns have different little smaller organizations like this that you should reach out to. Um, I'm friends with Jackie Woven. She's run the Main Street Eureka for years. If you are moving to Eureka or starting a business in Eureka or have one in Eureka and you call Jackie Woven, she will come to your store. She will tell you everything she knows about doing business in Eureka. If she doesn't know the answer to a question, she will find it for you. She brings me out to Eureka to speak to her business owners and to help consult with them uh, on things that they need. So reaching out to local resources, people who want to help you, who are already being paid to help you, you're just almost silly if you try to do this on your own. Um, one of the big mistakes I see with small business entrepreneurs sometimes is they take advice from friends and family who have never run a small business or who have never run a small business in that town. You need to get with your people. <laughs> and your people are other small business owners in your town and resource partners like 
Startup Junkie, like the ASBTDC, like the people who work at the Fayetteville Library who can get you market research and who live in Fayetteville and work with other small business owners, like the City of Fayetteville Office of Economic Vitality. Reach out to people who know your industry and get advice from them. Whether you take the advice or not, that's up to you. Friends and family are great for possible customer development, but I'm not sure if they haven't owned a small business of other people you should be taking advice from. Um, this is the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. They're based in Little Rock, of course, but are present all over the state. They have incredible staff also for business development, business finance and incentives, minority and women owned business enterprise. You can click here and they have people on staff. There's their phone number, there's their email, there's their background information. They are paid by the state of Arkansas to help women and minorities be successful in business. Why would you not call them? And I tell people, they're like, well, what are they gonna do for me? I'm like, I don't know, but call them, it's free. Maybe they can lead you to a tax credit. Maybe they can give you some encouragement. Maybe they know someone in your town who can help you. Reach out. The most successful small business owners I know, and I have worked for eight years, full-time, my job, what I've done the last eight years in Northwest Arkansas, I will tell you the single factor that the most successful small business owners have in common is they know their community. They are givers. They help others. They take mentorship. They mentor others. They are students of their industry, no matter how successful they are. They are constantly learning, reaching out to me. I, I have a couple of small business owners that we talk every two or three months. They're always like, hey, I got a new idea. Can you meet for lunch? Let's talk about it. Hey, what do you know about this? Hey, do you know someone who can help me with this? You become the greatest student of your business. You are its greatest cheerleader. You are its greatest manager and you are its greatest student. So constantly reaching out to different entities. Um, the AEDC had grants recently to fund small businesses that needed to get uh, personal protective equipment. And they put out a call for these grants. So they're always providing different resources like that. Um, as we um, continue to expand out about the whole region, this is a new um, group that has come into Bentonville last year called Venture Noir. And Venture Noir is also funded by the Walton Family Foundation to encourage black owned businesses in Northwest Arkansas. So we want to be very inclusive, as we all know, um, as of two years ago, Bentonville is now populated more than 50% by people who did not grow up in Bentonville, who did not grow up in Northwest Arkansas. So as our corporate culture has um, increased, as Northwest Arkansas has become not just a national destination, but an internationally known place, we want to be sure that as people of color move here, they find their place in entrepreneurship. And just like here at Startup Junkie, I encourage, and part of my mission is to encourage women-owned businesses we want to have different business groups for people of different backgrounds so that they feel comfortable and they feel supported. Also, to me, this is extremely important for us to support because the children of different nationalities, ch children of different races, uh, female children who are growing up, little girls, when children see people that look like them doing what they dream to do, it gives them confidence. So you will see why we are all very, very committed in Northwest Arkansas to giving our children people to see who look like them doing what they want to do. So Venture Noir is doing some incredible work. They are doing, they have a, in fact, a, what's become like a, almost a national pitch contest coming up soon where um, uh, minority businesses can pitch an idea for a business and be eligible for up to $30,000 in prizes. They provide um, um, consultants and events. And so we're, we're just thrilled to see all these growing different types of um, entrepreneurship support groups in Northwest Arkansas. 
So that is um, the end of the long list of um, different resources I've thought of, and I've probably forgotten some, and I apologize, and I'm sad if I have. Um, this presentation is going to be recorded, and the Fayetteville Public Library is going to have it accessible, um, and then we're going to get a copy of it and put it on our Startup Junkie YouTube channel also. So if you missed a site or some information, you're going to be able to, to review this. I also want to show you here at the end because I really encourage my small business owners. Number one, they've got to know Northwest Arkansas. Um, when I was a small business banker, I would have people call me on the phone. They wanted to talk to me about a possible business they were starting or growing. And I, because I have, my family's been in Northwest Arkansas since 1850. I've been here my entire life in and out of Northwest Arkansas. I would say, well, um, what other type of businesses are out there? Who are your competitors? It's going to be like this. Oh, there's nobody that does this. And I'm sitting there knowing personally, there are two stores just like this already in Bentonville. And when someone tells me I'm thinking about starting this kind of business and there's nothing like it in Northwest Arkansas, that really makes me pause about how hardworking a person this is. How would you not know your community and the businesses that you will be competing with, that you need to figure out how you're different than them, that you can learn from, you know, really knowing your market in the area. And so a lot of times what I also do is encourage them to go look at businesses like what they want to have or like what they want to do on Google, go look at websites of other providers of that, but also go out to other places. And Tulsa is one of my favorite places to recommend Northwest Arkansas small business owners to go visit. Go to Tulsa, um, go to Kansas City, go to Austin, see what's going on in those towns, like what you're doing here, learn from them, especially since you're not really competing with them because they're a distance away. You can often talk to the small business owners and learn something. Always be a student of what it is you want to do. This place is incredible. This is the Mother Road Market and it is located in Tulsa on Lewis. This is basically a place where if we put the Walton Family Foundation, Startup Junkie, the Arkansas Food Innovation Lab, and the 8th Street Market in Bentonville all in one place. That's what's here at the Mother Road Market. This uh, entrepreneurship, explosive, incredible project has rejuvenated an entire neighborhood in Tulsa. And it's a great place if you're in Tulsa to go eat. It has um, multiple um, merchants and different food vendors in there. It has concerts. They're building next door to it to not just have food booths like what we have at the 8th Street Market in Bentonville, but also to have retail stores. And they have what's akin to our uh, uh, Arkansas Food Innovation Lab here in the end of this. So they have all the food vendors and then they have this commercial kitchen where they can um, prepare their foods and get their manufacturer certificates. So a lot of the people who have the food booths there prepare it in that commercial kitchen. They have business consultants there. They're funded by the Lobeck Taylor Foundation, which Kathy Taylor is one of the former mayors of Tulsa and her husband, Mr. Lobeck, started and sold Dollar Rental Car. Um, and so uh, seeing what has gone on in downtown Tulsa, it's rejuvenation um, in the downtown area, especially like the first and second street in the Greenwood district is an incredible place to go research entrepreneurship in our region. The uh, America's SBDCs. So I told you about the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center. They are members of America's SBDC. The T is a letter that sometimes you won't see in these in some states, like Texas does not have a T in it. What that means is they don't have a technology consultant that helps businesses apply for certain government programs called the SBIR, STTR. Those are grants to grow, especially technology, um, innovative products. And so we have a person who does that named Rebecca Todd in Little Rock. But this SBDC, you can click here and any state in the United States, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Canada, they will help you find an SBDC. Um, to go seek services, consulting. Not all of them provide market research like ours does in Arkansas. 
um, like in Texas, a big thing in Texas is they have SPDC consultants who help you with exporting. And that's because Texas does so much exporting because of the ports in, in South Texas. And then this is the National Small Business Association. It's been around for decades. And I bring this one up to say any small business owner should belong to as many local associations that do a restaurant association or an accountant association. If you're an HR person, um, you have an HR consulting firm, you should belong to NOARC, the Sherm Group in Northwest Arkansas, this National Small Business Association. When you join these kind of national groups, it is incredible the amount of resources and content and, 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 and uh, staff that they provide to you to give you services. So sometimes joining a chamber for 250 bucks a year gives you thousands of dollars worth of marketing opportunities, networking opportunities, economic development staff to help you, joining a national small business association. You can go in here and you can see the research they have, the resources they provide you. Um, it, it, it's just incredible. But sometimes we forget to reach out beyond just our town and you want to look at the whole region around you and even nationally for help and resources um, in these manners. So that's the list uh, and it's a lot. But like I said, um, you can always go here to our um, Startup Junkie website. And once again, go to About and Team. And you have me and Morgan. So we have the two M's, Martha and Morgan. And our emails are there. And you can go to uh, these buttons and, and book a Zoom meeting or a phone call meeting, or we are starting to take in-person meetings again. Or when um, Corey will let us all know, they'll be posting this video um, and you can go back and watch that or share it with people um, to find these resources. So thank you Fayetteville Public Library for allowing Startup Junkie Foundation to tell what we do and how we're here to help Northwest Arkansas. Thank you, Martha. Um, I'm gonna open it up for questions if anyone has one. You're welcome to unmute yourself um, and go ahead and ask a question if you have one for Martha. All right. Well, it was nice to meet everyone. And um, the last thing I want to tell you all about is if you know any small business owners who uh, didn't qualify for the SBA PPP loans or the economic injury disaster loans, we also, um, one of the things we administer here for the Walton Family Foundation is the Kiva Hub. It is a 0% no fee uh, crowdfunded loan program of loans from $1,000 to $15,000. And these are for sole proprietors. I, I worked with a lady who has a DBA certificate and a bank account and she does alterations in her home. So anyone who needs some um, funds, um, there's no minimum credit score or collateral requirements to apply. So like when I was a banker, if you didn't have a 680 credit score or above, I, I wouldn't even take your application. I'd talk to you about how to improve your credit and what to do to come back to me. Mm -hmm. But Kiva is a wonderful program and you can um, just Google Kiva Northwest Arkansas. So I'm trying to get the word out to people, you know, people who are going back into their hair salons and need a few thousand dollars for marketing or supplies. Um, artists who still need to keep making their art, even though all the art shows have been shut down, they want to plan for the fall. So those are some great candidates for Kiva loans. And I'm here to help people with that process. So that's another little um, thing that we provide here at Startup Junkie. And if anyone knows anyone that would be interested, just send them to us. Okay. All right. Well, and I guess if there aren't any more questions or anything, um, thank you so much, Martha. That was so much information. I learned a lot. We didn't pay her to talk about the library, so oh, I do appreciate oh. that, though. <laughs> well, everybody knows if you, if you see me, I physically grew up in the Fayetteville Public Library from about 1970 to 78 when the library was on Dixon Street. It was about 
eight blocks from my home. And um, like I said, my mom was in college. She was a single mom. So I pretty much lived there. So I am a great fan and lover of the Fayetteville Public Library. Yeah, you did a great job. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to see the new building. I'm so excited. I keep driving by it and watching. I just can't wait. Yeah, it's pr I'm pretty excited too. Let's see. I think, Linda, did you have a question? I saw you unmuted yourself. Well, I, I was, I'm not interested in starting a new business. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm just glad you're interested in your community, Linda. Thanks for coming okay. on. Okay, well, I'm right now I'm sort of interested in trying to find sources to help me because I'm, I am, I'm worried about my finances and everything and how I'm going to make it okay, through. You, uh, okay, where do you live, Linda? I live in Rogers. Okay. Um, do you have someone who could help you um, look up on your phone or on the internet a, a place that I was going to encourage you to reach out to? I can do it. Okay, I want you to type in HARK, H-A-R-K Foundation. H-A-R-K. Mm -hmm. they're, they're located in Bentonville and they're funded by the Walton Family Foundation. And you can go to their website and they're providing some resources to help people with car payments and utility payments. So Hark Foundation in Bentonville. Why don't you try to reach out to them, Linda? Well, I, what I'm worried about is that um, I've got to talk to my church and my everything too. And um, what I'm worried about is that I have mutual funds and I don't want to liquidate those right now because I might need them in the future. Yeah, Linda, I wouldn't worry about that. Reach out to the Hark Foundation. They're here to help people through the crisis. No one's going to take away a retiree's retirement account. They're not going to ask you that, okay? So you, you um, reach out to them and see what they can help you with, okay? Well, I do have two temporary jobs coming up, but I'm, I, I'm a senior citizen, and because of my age and everything, they also worry about health issues and everything, even though I've been taking the proper protocols to wear the mask when I go out and everything, they still, they still worry about it and everything, and I'm still able to work and everything, but it's, it's been hard right now. It is. It's, it's a difficult time, and, and you're, you're, you're in the same boat with a lot of other folks, unfortunately. So, but I, re I really encourage you to reach out to Hark Foundation and see if they could help you with some of your bills, okay? Uh, and, and Linda, also, Hark is uh, partnered with United Way, and they're, uh, they have a hotline you can call. Um, okay. You just dial 211, and it'll connect you with someone that can help you, and they'll try to figure out what to do. Um, okay. something they've just started doing in the last few months to get people connected a little faster and they can they can help you with that. Martha's right that's a great organization. Okay well see I, I tried to, my uh, I uh, tried to go to the housing authority about HUD but they said they've got they don't they, they they're waiting, they have waiting lists for one to two years. Yeah. Well, like, like we said, reach out to Hark Foundation. They know about a lot of resources, okay? And it was, it was nice to meet you, Linda. Thank you for coming on with us today. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Is, is anybody else have any questions? I don't think so. I think we're finished. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Thank you, Martha. Everybody have a great Martha. day. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Yep, sunshine's coming. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.